Hello, family. Welcome to and welcome back. I'm So Veronica, and I'm so ready to remind you to sew into your future. So here on today's episode of Sew Into Your Future, I'm doing a makeup tutorial. So I also want to talk to you guys about my little secret that I've learned over the years that helps me and is absolutely mandatory that I do. Because if I don't, honey, these last three months of the year can do a number on me. So one thing that I do is I start early, honey. I start early on my, I want to say it's a New Year's resolution, but it's also like a resetting. It's also like a stay focused. It's also like a self-maintenance type thing. It's like a mental check-in, an emotional check-in, spiritual, financial, everything. I just assess myself all around and I see what I want to change and I see the direction I'm going in and just, you know, however I want to modify it. Because if we don't take introspection of ourself and then things that can be growing and developing along with us, you know, like weeds, and then we don't, you don't have the opportunity to pull them out, you know, to stop them from growing. So that's what I like to do, honey. I like to motivate myself so that, um, for instance, with this YouTube, I want to make sure that I stay on top of my content because you know, when the snow comes, Sometimes you don't feel as motivated, um, but you have to find a, find your rhythm, find your footing and get your rhythm. And when you find it, stick with it, stick with it, no matter what. Um, I've learned that, you know, just like with most things in life, there's ups and there's downs and you got to be willing to roll with the punches with the ups and the downs. You got to be willing to hang in there no matter what. And that's why when you hear people say YouTube, whatever you do on YouTube, it has to be your passion. It has to be something that you would do for free because oftentimes you feel like you're doing it for free. But um, in all labor, there is profit. And so eventually, you know, I've seen people with um, YouTube channels that were consistent. And then it was that one video that kind of catapulted them into a, a whole new um, audience and then the, the new audience was able to appreciate the old content. So that's what, that's what I'm leaning towards. That's what I'm, that's what I'm believing God for, because I know that, um, it can happen. And if it can happen for others and he's not a respecter of persons, I believe it can happen for me as well. I mean, it'd be different if I didn't actually believe in my content. Like I, if I wasn't me, I would watch me. <laughs> I mean, you have to ask yourself that. If I wasn't myself, if I was a random person, would I watch my channel? What would I be thinking? What would I be doing? What would I be looking for? And so I often, I know that what I look for, what I gravitate towards are people who are real, people who aren't pushing products in my face as far as, you know, I have some, some YouTube shorts where I'm jokingly saying, you know, wear this with this and drink this on this jet and all that. That's to show you how kind of um, YouTube or the in, the the influencer community can be. You know, it's, it's been going on since the beginning of time. People can make you feel like if you don't have it, then you're not part of the in crowd. Well, I like people who are real down to earth and I can watch them and be inspired, but not feel like um, like there's no way to obtain that. Like, it's just, you know what I mean? So, um, and it's not like being jealous of anybody because I can be happy, honey. I can celebrate. Matter of fact, that was one of my, one of my YouTube names. But you have to be willing to, um, I was watching an interview last night and someone was saying how he paid his dues. He paid his dues. And it's a, one of the celebrities, uh, R&B singer. And he was just talking about how he struggled. He struggled to make a connection with his audience when he was singing in the subway and that when he finally got around to figuring out what made people come about their pocket and give him a tip and really appreciate his music, it was because of a McDonald's song. He saw that they all had McDonald's bags when they would get on the subway, get on and off the subway. And so he wrote a song about McDonald's and people would just listen. And they'd be like, he wrote, he sang that because I got my McDonald's or whatever they was thinking. But anyway, he said he went from getting like chump change to people was giving him $50 tips because he, you know, it added to his talent, um, the gift of entertainment, 
you can have talent, but you're not entertaining. And so, and you can be entertaining and not have talent. <laughs> it's amazing what God will use to bless your life. Um, so don't ever count yourself out. So, um, yeah, I'm just using these last three months to make sure that I'm ahead of the game, ahead of the myself, because, um, if you know that you have a tendency of kind of getting in a rut, honey, you put so many ladders around that, that hole, that trench to where when you get in that rut, you can easily climb out. And it's not a rut as in like depression or nothing like that. It's just a rut as in a routine of Netflix. Netflix.